Lefty. We know you're in here. Come on. Don't try to hide from me. Come on, please. I thought it might be you. Bengali action men. A few. The Dawn Jack boot. Get that shit out of my face! We has not is it? Roger. Matthew, come with us. We've got a spare house. This place ours now. That was a tramp to kick the shit out of me, wouldn't you? Two more say we could give you a place if we find you. We've got nothing against you, Matty. We just don't want squatters. Oh, you don't want squatters? Oh, well, well, well. And where did you all come from, eh? Matthew, I'm telling you now. Better come with us. Well, you're a big boy now. You're telling me. Matty. Well, tell me now, eh? Tell me now. Yeah. <coughs> you tell tomorrow on his case. Move! Move! <laughs> They're mine, they're yours. You want a place to live? Take them, they're up for grabs. Spread the word. See, it's easy. If we call them, they'll come. Spread the word in Brick Lane. The lame shall walk, the hungry shall be fed, all that kind of shit. Matthew, it's different now. Look at them! They'll move! There's plenty of demand. Let's make a bit of supply. It's not that easy. Everybody's involved now. We can give out houses in an organized way. They won't come if you do it like this. Well, Tamur's mafia, the bully boys. Look at them, Matthew. They're going to be pulled down. We can do it through labor movement. Now, did you hear that? Did you? Let's hear it again. Labor movement. You got that? Well, go on, then. Matthew, Timur wants to talk to you. Well, dear, what, me? Why? I haven't got anybody. He respects you. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. get you. Just like that, eh? This property is now in trust. Well, look, see? I broke down the doors. Arrest me. Call the police. Arrest? Police? There is no need. Can't screw him, join him. I want to talk to you. Oh, me? 
No, you don't want to talk to me, I'm bent. Criminal element, me. You wouldn't remember though, would you? Came for the first few months, he was like a good girlfriend, and he dropped me. You said we should end it. I say thousands of things, you shouldn't jump. That's you though, isn't it? I've got it. Scratched you out of me, She doesn't want you. You can't have her. She doesn't exist. So why'd you come back here? I know people here. Nothing to do with me? No. I didn't burn down that school for you. No, I know that. You do? What'd I do it for then? Because like every tin pot Hitler, you don't like being crossed by another one. Very good, coming along. There are worthwhile things being done here. Yeah, I know. First Bengali MP, am I right? I don't mean that. I don't give a shit for Dimon. You work for him? I work for a Muslim school. Yeah. Keeps body and salt together. Keeps your boyfriend in crisps and Coca-Cola. You should talk to him. Give him a bit of advice. Tell him to join Timur, like the others. The flared trousered mafia. No, they dress a bit smarter now. Leave tips in the tea shop. He wouldn't. He hates Timur. Sadie, tell your boy he's safe. I owe him. I'd have died. So why'd you stay here? They've all been rehoused, you know, legally. They've got rent books. You ask any of the people that used to worship you. They got things done through Timur Hussein. That's showbiz. No, it's politics. You know what really gets me, don't you? We bash away at something. We make mistakes, but we think to ourselves, next time, I'll see it coming. Next time, I'll know what to do. But we never get another shot. Why don't you join the campaign? What campaign? <laughs> One you didn't start. She's a friend of yours. Who? Nasreen. Meeting, isn't it? You're not public, you're the National Front. You can't tell me that, son. You haven't got enough runs on the board. Matthew. All right. You, you know these blokes, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Small time fascists. Yeah, <coughs> right, could we all settle down now, please? Right, thank you. Hello. Um, welcome to this meeting, friends. Meeting in defense of Nazarene. Uh, for those who are not acquainted with Nazarene's case, we'll start the discussion with a resume in her own words. Nazarene Begum. I don't want to read. No, just tell them. I'm sorry. First comes letter from home office and said, your husband not legal. From the beginning. Get out, Tell right. me from the don't beginning. Don't you start getting lippy with me, son. All right? I was I don't born, want to I don't want any born in Bangladesh, here, so listen, in the Silet region. Listen to what's been said. All right? I'm I'm the My what father worked. Who are you to tell me I can't go in? Are you running the meeting? I want to listen hey, to what's been said. Hey, what's the problem? Ah, oh, Mr. Hussain. They're the National Front. We're not letting them in. Look, it is an open meeting, isn't it? 
Let them in, let them in. We don't want trouble. Thank you very much. No. He touch Mata. Mata Eki. Smallpox. Yes. He get smallpox and he die. And his family blame me. They don't want keep me. In my country. I thought you said this was your country, Mr. Chairman. Questions afterwards. Mr. Chairman, I apologize. Thank you. <coughs> carry on, carry on. Go on, go on. I forget now. Yes. Then I find I will have child. And my uncle say, you are widow woman. You must marry Jamalullah. He is in England, London. And too much older to me. That's when I came here. Jamalullah pay for me and my child. And I get here and marry him. Then he must go to Birmingham for work. And he died there. And I find, I find he has passport with mistake from Dhaka. So I cannot stay in Britain. But I have no family uh, in Chairman, Bangladesh. Uh, I'd like to ask. Well, no, there, no, there was an uncle mentioned. No, no questions now. But she said she had no family. You, my chubby. What can we do for you? You bastard. <laughs> you took your time, didn't you? You're up, Matty. Why? I hear I turn big soup now. Person, how's your record? Old friends, are we? You know what they say, don't you? Scraps for a friend, Brixton for a letter, and Penterville for love. I nearly gone, you know. I didn't think he was coming again. Patterson, he owes you one, doesn't he? You jobbed him over there with a crutch or something when you was indisposed like. Is that right, Patsy? Yeah. You remember Matty Why? 
Why don't you smash up my house? Tomorrow don't want no trouble with me. Like Eddie coming. He wants you out of it. I feel like Thomas a Beckett. You just took it into your own sweet head, didn't you, Samuel? Can I go now? Where you I go? That's an educated boy, that is. Too educated for the East End. What do you want? Well, me and Patterson and Georgia are going into the building trade. And you're standing in the way. So what do you want? You want me to move out? What about number 16? That's occupied. It's a very brave girl, that is. Nazreen. Mr. Hussain says he's got his ways. Well, he's had his way with her, hasn't he? Let me put it this way. We are going to make a little preemptive strike. Geezer like you, you could go anywhere you like. Us, thick, stuck here. Small timers. But everybody needs a little bit of comfort in their life, don't they? All right. <laughs> Never learn. Sorry. Just for tonight. Smashed up my house. He has been a member of this constituency for 23 years. And who am I to say? Yes, Mr. Hussein, but if you stand against him and have him deselected, then you must disapprove of his policies. The General Management Committee brought some criticisms. And some members felt that uh, he was not making enough environmental improvement for black communities. Ah, but he accuses you of being connected with interests who want to make profits out of property development. No, 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 look here. <laughs> he has not said that, and you have. Show me proof. Why should he say that? Maybe he knows something that you are not willing to tell us. I have been a councillor for some time now. If I wanted to make profit, I would be a rich man now. <laughs> you are. Oh, I sweat like everyone else. Well... 
Isn't it strange that you emerge as the favourite candidate out of a slate of six when the membership secretary, him, is in your employ? No, 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 no. Not in my employ. As activists, we are friends. I think you are making mischief. This interview was to be about policy matters. All right. All right, Mr. Hussein, policy matters. Where in the Labour Party broad church do you stand on clause four? What? The ownership of the means of production, exchange and distribution. Do you feel that the seeds of socialist revolution can be sown by parliamentary infiltration of the advanced sections or their representatives within the class? You see, you are making mischief. I am not going to answer these questions. I think it's a good day. Definitely good day, Mr. Clyde. Take you to dinner. Baby and all. What's the matter? Nothing. Was the campaign getting you down? No. That bad, eh? Come on, Nazarene. What's the matter? Timur. Timur, he said he will come again. Not to tell anyone. He bloody won't come. Now he wants me. Like Ellie does. Come You're not going to be available. He can whistle. I've forgotten it. You have to tell me it. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. Muhammadun Rasulullah. Yes. Is that it? With full consciousness, you must know what it means. I think I know what it means. Now, is there anything you've got to do? Repeat. La ilaha illallah. Meaning. The meaning. Uh, there is only one God and Muhammad is his prophet. Good. There is only one God and Muhammad is his prophet. Good. Good. Okay, um... Should I, uh... No, Mr. Bessie, oh, no, no, no. I wanted to ask you something else. But this house next door, I see is empty. Yeah. I have been looking in accommodation for some time. Well, I think I could get you in there. Uh, the toilet and everything, they tell me you can fix up very cheaply. Yeah. But uh, this house belongs to you know who. Yes, yes. And you get his thugs around and kick you out, he doesn't like it. Who will hurt a poor religious man? <laughs> Oh, 
Yes, well, all right, we've sort of prepared it. She's got a child. Perhaps you'd like the child in the film. Yeah, fine. You see, we are in charge of the campaign. What we'd like to do, once the Home Office yields the point, is to press for a change in the law. This woman lives here. She belongs here. Black people have no representation in Parliament. No one with special interest to press and press. What are you doing here? Where's Nettering. it screamed? Nettering. The guests have arrived. Oh! Come in, come in, come in. Oh. They come in. Come on in. I didn't, oh, we weren't expecting so many. Go straight in, man. Please, please. It's very nice of you to come. You're right, man. Just make yourselves comfortable. Hope you don't mind cups. Where's Nasreen? She's just upstairs. She's getting changed. Nasreen! Your guests are here. I'm just gonna give them a drink. Uh, some champagne. Sure? To celebrate with us. You bastard. We can make the interview. No, I'm afraid we can't. He's married her. Just one for the bride tomorrow, Saint Sharp. Are you sure? Take it off. Hair is too short. Hamida, 
short hair, jewelry, makeup. You have ten minutes before prayers in girls' section. Go home now and tell your parents why. Hamida, straight home. Hamida, she heard you. We're not in your bloody school yet, but we're coming. Can I give you my opinion? Hey, Zali, you will get a serious warning. No, it's my turn. You upset that girl, you know. She's 15. How old are you? That's the end of it. You cannot enter school. You are suspended. You hear that? I've been court-martialed. I'll send for your fathers. Fathers? Good stuff. Has it ever crossed your prejudiced brain that my mother wears the pants in the family? Enough! Vacate the street from here. You will be up before governors. I know it is you instigating girls to wear jewellery, break school rules. Me? You don't know what's going on in your own school, mate. Go on. Back inside. Go on. Come on, boys. I know you, Salik Mir. I know what you are trying to do. Wait, boys. Mustak, Mohammed, I'll phone your parents now. They don't have a phone. You don't know what poverty means, you prat. Come. They're staying until we can sort some things out. I don't think you handled that very well. What do you mean? If you're serious about one thing, you can't be careless about the rest. What are you talking about? Look, you and I know what the row was about. Akbar doesn't. Vigilante groups, the whole youth league thing. You don't have to bring it into the school. They brought it into school. Don't be stupid. That's what I mean. I mean, if you're serious, you can't just cause trouble. I mean, they tell your parents, they throw you out. Please, don't tell us how to behave. No advice. What they're going to do, chop our hands off. What's the matter? Haji Saab. Haji Saab and Mullah next door. Patterson and Sami take it away. Took what? Truck. Furniture, whole family, Sami, Riaz, everybody. Come inside. They go happy, pay them money to go. They wait till you go out. Come. Bastards. They tell me to go also. They what? To take you and go. Good flat with rent book. You saying there's no bulls big enough to make me an offer? The whole street is empty now. No, we don't even start that. Nothing. Chuck tap, okay? Come here. We don't even talk defeat. We swear to love each other forever and ever. We don't let Hussein's filthy lucre get in our way. All right. You must have dinner. No, I'm not hungry. It was a big craze in America to renew your vows. People who were married got married again in front of the preacher, the mullah. Turn around. Put your hands on the book and repeat after me. Go on. Both hands. 
It's raining money. The Lord has smiled upon us. Well, fine, fine, fine. You pack your bags and leave. I'm staying. I was going to ask you. They just left it. Sammy put money down. I never agreed. No, don't panic. It's all right. I know how life goes. That's right. Should be Prince Charming. Come to Spirit Away to Bengali Cinderella from Stepney. Come in, though, illustrious Sammy. What's the matter? Matthew, come on. Come on, we've got him. Go on. Yeah, what was the lead game with the lowdown? The dope. The rope to hang Tim or Hussein with. Come on, I need you. Better pick up the money, you might need it. He's got the fear of God in him. He's a dirty bastard. <laughs> Aren't they all? Raj over he has. He's got a list of illegals are putting their thumbscrews on. British slave trade. Labour candidate in slave trade. Mm. They sent money. You work in pretty seedy ways, Matthew. You wonders to perform. Yeah, what do you mean? You and your dawn raid. I got it out of Salik. Oh, well, then you'll know that later, won't you? He said he works in the building trade, the video business, money launderers. He's got a list of Asians with dodgy entry permits. He's shipping that to the Gulf for his greasy Arab friends. Yes. And he hangs on to their passports till they go. You blow it and he'll take them all down with him. Good story, though, isn't it? What does he do? Does he keep 80% for tomorrow trading, or what? Most of them want to go. You dish the dirt and it's on your head. You know the score. They come in disguised as their cousins, or use somebody else's papers to pretend they're somebody's sons. The Home Office gets hold of them and they're out, not to the Gulf. Back to Bangladesh or wherever. Won't look good for him, though, will it? It's not the sort of business the People's Party goes in for. 
I mean, okay for a spot of property development, or the directorship on a board of some insurance company or co-op society, but this, this is juicy. Why don't you blackmail him instead? Leave the victims out of it. Hey! You gave me a swear. I told you to keep out of this. I had to stop these gentlemen. You think I've got no mouth? The guys stay and do what I want to. I'm off. Matthew? Catch you later. Thank you. Look, you don't have to fight with me. Where are you going? Anywhere. Why did you have to tell him? It's not your business. It's not white business. You eat now? You can eat too, you know, you don't have to wait until I finish for God's sake. Sorry to barge in. No, it's all right. Sit down. We were just having a little heart to heart. But I think we've finished now. We can wait. No, it's all right. Sit down. Nazarene. Well, no doubt she's going to get the tea. And the traditional fried egg. You never get the tea. What did you want? You squatted some people. Got moved out. Show me in the same Forced them out. Pay more like. Our friend Tamua keeps his nose clean, of course. Once he's paid off me and Nezwin, he can really get to work. It's got nothing to do with him, you know. The street's been bought up by an Arab bank. White directors. He just gets a backhander. Just went to a Swiss bank account, I've no doubt. Can you prove that? Prove nothing. All I know is there are still people around who aren't willing to pay the few bob for a council flat. And he can't pay all the rents, can he? Mind you, I think he's willing to pay those rings. I think the missus is willing to play. Maybe. Sorry. Maybe I better speak to you later. Nah, hang about. I'll get into your fights. You can get into our little differences. Sorry about this, Nasreen. You get all to the death. got rid of her. You can sleep happily now. Of course, you didn't say anything, did you? The meaningful Asian stare says it all. And a fun good night to you too. Nazarene, I'm sorry. I'm not It's packed his stuff. Mm. Do you find it all right, lover boy? I want to talk about the school. Oh, the school wants that specific, is it? No. Where well, it pays the rent. It's cracking up. It's him. They slung out 15 kids for anti-Islamic propaganda, they said. Girls refuse to cover their legs. They want to wear skirts. Boys want to wear earrings. Was it white kids? Asians. Well, good. What's good? Well, I mean, if they don't want to play the game, you sling them out. It's got them all going. I never thought an Islamic school would give them so much to kick against. Wow. You took the job. I did. Why? To wait. 
to stay here. Ever since the baby. You don't think about it, do you? I do. I think about it every day. Every day. I wanted you to know that. I haven't had the chance to tell you. You've become the sort of person no one speaks to. It just happened. No. It didn't just happen. I think about it too. I think about it all the time. I'm not shrugging it off. I'm just out of practice. I don't know how to make things sound as serious as I mean them. I had a mad idea in the hospital. I asked the doctor if he'd taken a photograph. I just wanted a photograph. Who's that? God knows. Fancy making some tea. What's the matter? No answer? Nobody. Ah, she's probably asleep. Don't you need her anymore? No. But you still have meetings. You said you weren't coming. Fixed up a meeting here, just this morning, sort out a few things. Salik, you can't do that. You said you were leaving and your stuff's still here. All right, we'll go. I'll take the stuff. We'll go. It's obviously inconvenient. Come on. But if you just want the place for half an hour... Thanks. Don't want anything. Grow up so quickly. I don't want any of that. Put it this way, I think you just proved you don't know how you want. Let me know when you do. There'd be no point telling you, Matthew. You'd just think it was a game, seeing what you could get away with. Or who you can get away with. Where is she? I was going to get in touch with you. Please. Please.
I don't want to insult you. She came to me for money. Uh, who else? She wants to go back to Bangladesh. You are her husband. It is your decision. You want a bet? Mr. Matthew, you don't understand about Bangladesh. Well. Now's your chance to teach me. If you look at her, you wouldn't think this lady has been married three times. So she can still pull them in. Stand up and chew in the stalls. I mean, in Bangladesh, her family don't want to know her. Her past husband's family has rejected her. In Bangladesh, a woman has to belong to someone or somewhere. It is not like here, sir. Is that right? Protection or insulation. She knows if she wants to go back, she has to belong to somewhere, to a piece of land, some little work, some business, someone. I think I have these things. You do that for her. She came to me with... Hold on. I think they are yours. She took them. Well, well, well. A little bitch. I think she understands business. It is called blackmail. She gave you my photographs. Mr. Matthew, you and I, we understand each other. I know you and that reporter boy, Clive, want to disgrace me. Well, I thought I'd crossed our minds. Wouldn't look too good, would it? A Labour candidate in slave trade scandal. I know this. And you're willing to set her up in Bangladesh? Only with your permission. After all, under Muslim law, a husband must pay back his wife's debt. <laughs> Come that one again? Oh, Matimia. <laughs> We understand each other. In life, we must help each other. I know you will be able to assist me. It is a private flat. You will be very comfortable there. You see, it is best to own some little property. Your times have changed so much. In the last election, 
Our party was against ownership. But why, I am asking? That is what people, especially our people, hope for. So if a company comes along and sells a place with a generous mortgage, what is wrong? Like the old saying, an Englishman's home is his castle. Very wise. Our people are no different. People of power! 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 Sort out these bastards. Salik, it's me. Matthew Long. Come down, I want to talk to you. Michael Alphick is Private Schultz after the break. <laughs> 